brought in to be placed under a bushel basket or under a bed and not to be placed on a lampstand? For there is nothing hidden except to be made visible. Nothing is secret except to come to light. Anyone who has ears to hear ought to hear. He also told them, Take care what you hear. The measure with which you measure will be measured out to you, and still more will be given to you. To the one who has, more will be given. From the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. The Gospel of the Lord. Is a lamp brought in to be placed under a bushel basket or under a bed and not to be placed on a lampstand? Jesus once told his disciples that they were, that they should be the light and the salt of the earth. And we see here that some are going to try to blot out that fire that light that represents God's children among the world. Some are going to try to censor that light, that testimony, that word, that teaching, because that light bothers them. Because when someone is used to live in darkness and there is just a little tiny light that bothers them, And we actually see that whenever you are not politically correct, when you, when so, whenever you say some, something or do something that is not politically correct, you are immediately censored. Now we're undergoing another kind of dictatorship, and this is getting worse. It is the dictatorship of the social media. You cannot say anything against the politically correct, what is politically correct, because you're immediately censored. You have to think and live as they teach you to think and live, but you cannot express your faith. And Jesus says, again, is a lamp brought in to be placed under a bushel basket or under a bed, and not to be placed on a lampstand? We cannot remain silent in the face of so many injustices, in the face of lie. We have to speak out. And we, we are not to use our words and our actions with violence. We cannot use that because in the name of the truth, I'm going to use violence. No, that's not, never the way. Remember what Jesus said to St. Peter when he was about, when he caught uh, that soldier's ear. Jesus cured the soldier's ear and he said to Peter, no violence, no violence. And, and the light is necessary, necessary. Why? Why? Without light, we cannot see. Without light... Spiritually speaking, we cannot see the path to enter eternal life. Notice what we heard in the psalm, in the responsorial psalm. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord and who may stand in his holy place? He whose hands are sinless, sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. And then in the first reading, we heard, since we have a great priest over the house of God, let us approach with a sincere heart and in absolute trust with our hearts sprinkled clean from an evil conscience 
and our bodies washed in pure water. How can we clean our conscience if there is no light? If we call evil good and good evil, if we're not able to distinguish what is sin and what is good, what is holy, we need light. And, there, and we will find opposition to our way of life, to our teaching. And, it is, and this is normal. But, what we, but we cannot fall into the same game that some of them use to spread their ideologies by using bad words, by insulting, by threatening people. Notice uh, what the, 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 the first reading also says. Since through the blood of Jesus we have confidence of entrance into the sanctuary by the new and living way he opened for us through the veil that is his flesh. So we have access to the sanctuary, to eternal life, to heaven, to the kingdom of God by the new and living way. He opened for us through the veil that is his flesh, that is his testimony of life. Only by the new and living way we have access through that sanctuary. By, with a sincere heart, with sprinkled clean, with our hearts sprinkled clean from an evil conscience and our bodies washed in pure water. So let us not remain silent. We, have, we, are light, we are the light and the salt of the earth. And some people are going to tell you, you shouldn't speak about this. You shouldn't say this. But you are free to say whatever you want and post on Facebook, for example, whatever you want. And I cannot... I cannot. Don't we have the same rights? Of course, we have to spread the truth, not with violence, not insulting others. We got to be peacemakers, but those peacemakers that bring to the world the light of Jesus Christ. Let us pray in silence. <clears throat> 